This morning, the NRA said that they wanted to have a conversation about security in our schools. And I'd like to respond, along with Senator Blumenthal, to that call. If school districts want to hire armed security guards, I support that. It's a decision each school district should make. And many school districts already have armed guards. In fact, 28,300 public schools, that's about a third of all public schools, have armed security staff. In fact, there were two armed law enforcement officers who twice engaged the shooters at Columbine. That didn't prevent 15 from being killed and 23 wounded. Copies of the sheriff's investigative transcript with exactly what happened are available uh, right at the back of the room. The NRA's blanket call to arm our schools is really nothing more than a distraction. It's a delay tactic. It's a distraction from the availability of military-style assault weapons on our streets, in our schools, used at malls, used at workplaces, used in movie theaters. And they allow for much death and destruction. It's a distraction from the prevalence of large ammunition feeding devices that allow shooters to expel 20, 30, 60, 100, and even more bullets. And it's a distraction for how, from how easy it is to purchase weapons at gun shows with no background checks at all. The weapons today are much more powerful and lethal than the weapons were when we did this bill in 1993. And that's a problem, and the time has come to address it. I'm not going to demonize anyone. As I said before, I'm willing to talk to anyone, listen to anyone. I'm open to suggestions to make legislation better and more effective. Should we have a conversation about school security? Yes. Should we have a conversation about mental illness and the culture of violence? Yes. But we can't ignore the common denominator in all of these deadly massacres, access, easy access to killing machines. Sandy Hook is only the latest tragedy and more horrendous than anything I ever thought could happen in the United States of America. But these massacres are happening in our shopping malls, our movie theaters, our businesses, and our offices. And the only thing that's consistent in all of them are the guns. And that's the conversation we need to have. There is no more uphill fight than this. The question is, do we fight or do we knuckle under? We're not knuckle unders. We're just not going to knuckle under. It may take a year, it may take two, it may take three. In the meantime, I believe through social media, I believe through efforts like Mayor Bloomberg has announced that he is launching, that we need to elect people who understand that America cannot be turned into an armed camp, where the safety of our citizens is jeopardized by the rights of a few who don't want anything to curtail their gun rights, no matter how powerful those weapons are. And we're just looking at one class of weapons, weapons designed to kill people in close combat in military situations. This is a big fight. This is a fight that the American people are going to have to stand up and stiffen their spine. Either you're going to let the NRA take over and dictate to this country, or you're going to enable your elected representatives to vote their conscience based on their experience, based on their sense of right, based on their need to protect their schools, their malls, their workplaces, and their businesses.